Hello again, Double Talk 73 here. I thought I'd try to help some lower level fishermen uh, do some farming. That's what it takes to, to move on up through the lakes. You just have to farm. So we're going to farm in uh, Missouri, Mudwater River. And I know this not a real pleasant thing, but... Don't, you just have to stick with it day after day after day and move up and move up and move up. Uh, Mudwater River. So I got a note of all the... Let's see if I can put this up here where you can see it. Okay. This is a note of all the travel times and the day's license and I'm going to uh, do a little more on this like Missouri is $1,600 for one day and travel that $1,600 is $400 for the license $1,200 for the travel now that's 24 hour day that's not just one day of fishing so if you get here you can just stay and all it costs you just keep going back and fishing over and over and over is your extend now be sure you bring plenty of bait uh, we're going to be using shiners and uh, I'll show you that in just a second but don't come up here with 25 or 30 shiners uh, you'll wind up let me show you why it's a fresh bait see they don't sell them here so, when you're on the home screen, there's $650 for five. That's, that's a lot of money, but that's what it is. So, hopefully you build up enough in Texas that you can come up here and, and uh, buy your bait. At least in Texas, it's zero to travel, but it's still $200 a day for the license. That's 24 hours. And if you fish without a license and catch a fish, you get fined. And believe me, I'm the king of fines is what people call me. Seem like down in Louisiana, I get all excited about catching big gar and uh, I get fined. And it's five grand. Uh, some of the other lakes is 10, 15, and 20,000 fish without a license. But anyhow, be sure you bring plenty of bait. Okay, here's what we're going to be using. With our bait, we're using a Phoenix 12 foot 10, a line weight 5 to 19 pounds. We're using a, a Callisto MG 3000 with a uh, max weight, max drag of 8.8 .8 and uh, 0.007 braid, which is an 8 pound line. There you go, eight pound line, uh, a chubby bobber, a one aught hook, and shiners. Okay, and then later on in the day, we're going to take a shot and see what can happen with a, a lure. We'll, then we'll use our Farcaster 8.6, which will handle a lure weight from a half to one and a half ounce, a F Felix 500 reel uh, with a 6.15 pound drag, 0.005 braid, which is four pound line. Uh, hopefully, we won't catch anything bigger than four pounds. Be nice if we did. And then the casting spoon, one quarter ounce. Now, see, that won't go. That's not going to work, is it? So let's see what we can do here. Nah, we'll worry about it later. Uh, so we're going to spawn in at uh, last songs of summer. Okay, uh, here's the thing too, weather, we can fish this all day long from 9 to, 9 to 10 and then from 3 to 5. Now, you got to catch a lot of fish on this river to make up $1,600 or I think it's $100 to extend. We're going to find that out too in a minute, in a little bit anyhow. So let's go fishing. Let's see if we can catch some fish. 
But like I say, don't don't quit, give up, get frustrated. No matter what lake you go to, or what river you go to, you're gonna have to just fish and fish and fish. Let's see what we got right down here in front of us. I don't forget what that marker is. Let's see. It is for historic white crappie. I can probably get rid of that one. <laughs> Since that's from 4th of July. Let's see what we got here. Trophy white crappie. Okay. And what we got here? The trophy grass pickerel. Okay. But what we're going to do first is we're going to see what we can do with Let's see, that's not what I want. I want number five. Isn't it number five? Yeah. Nice to have the right thing. Oh, and the leader. We're gonna start off with a max at this location. Because there's a there's a ridge that runs right along in here. So we'll see if we can catch some fish. And like I say, it's something you're gonna have to do. Over and over and over and over to build up your cash and to build up your level where you can go to the higher lakes. When you can finally get to Michigan or Florida, then you can make some money. Uh, in Michigan, if you can get a DLC or get enough cash to buy a big enough rig, uh, bottom rods, they're not cheap. Uh, Brutus 910, 35 pound. Match set with a with a uh, uh, ambusher, 4,500 reel or 5,500 reel. It it takes a lot of money, but once you get to where you can fish in Michigan, you can build up enough cash fishing catching catfish. A lot of people like to catch uh, pike there. Uh, shiners or large minnows for pike aren't too cheap. You can use duck muscle meat for catfish uh, and, and just fill your basket, fill your keeper every hour and a half to two hours and just extend, extend, extend. Just keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. And that's what you got to do. We'll let it float down about that marker. About, about right in here somewhere. And then we'll reset. Try to throw it out a little further. It just, it's like real fishing. It just takes patience. And of course there's fish at more but we're really not we really don't care around 105 is where you want to be that's where the edge of that drop off is hundred five or less should be we should get a vertical bobber there we go and we are at 5.15 on a sunny morning. Got us a ding. Now there are trophy drum in here and they'll go uh, around five pounds. That's probably about the biggest fish that's in here. Well, I don't think we'll catch one on a shiner, but you never know. They usually strike mostly in the late afternoon, early evening. But this is what I mean. It's just patiently waiting. And 
that's what real fishing is all about. Not throw it in, catch one, throw it in, catch one, throw it in, catch one. That's not fishing. It's like shooting the, the old adage, shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> Once you get to where you can farm here and get enough, then you can move up lakes, move up lakes, move up lakes. And each lake, learn how to farm that lake. I'm going to try to show you lake by lake. And uh, what we got here? Okay, we got a nice channel catfish, 129, 4.8 pounds. $129. Now, you've got to catch 10, 15, 15 of those, roughly 14, to pay for your one-day fishing. That sounds like a lot, but that's, that's not a lot. 14 fish in 24 hours, that's, that's, that's very doable. But, there again, that's a 24-hour day, not a, a game day. And you can go and come back, go and come back. And just keep on fishing. But we'll catch a little bit of everything with shiner. We'll catch black bullheads. We'll catch uh, largemouth bass. Uh, young largemouth bass. Uh, maybe a crappie. Chain pickerel. Grass pickerel. Catch a little bit of everything with shiners. And then in a minute, we're going to go on the other side where that yellow boat is, and we're going to see if we can catch a white crappie. Remember where I, where I showed you on the... It's right in here. Right by that. It's down a little further. We'll find it again. That's the nice thing about the map. You see where you are. And in case you don't know how to use the map, you push the M key on your keyboard and up pops a map that will show you you'll be uh, a yellow, gold, whichever color you like, uh, indicator as to where you are. It will also show you where other players are on that same map. They're white with an indicator and like Russia you can see which way you need to go to get or any river which way you need to go up or down to get to where you want to want to be to fish Let's see what we got here okay we got us a large mouth bass 164 so it's only two pounds 164 we're tw almost twice as much more than twice as much as the uh, catfish. So there it only take 10 of those. So let's start here this time. But that's what it's about. Just staying with it and farming. Now you can also catch uni black crappie on this lake too, or on this river. Different bait. There again, when you come, know what you're going to fish for and bring the bait with you. Because there was nothing for sale. Fresh bait. For crappie, we would use flies, wax worms, Crickets. Same size hook, just different bait. I thought we were bounced along the bottom here. We got something pulling on us. There we go.
fish till six o'clock here and see what kind of money we got. Get you some kind of idea. What just staying right at this one spot. It's like a bowfin. Nope. An, a trophy black bullhead. Fifty three bucks. <laughs> Ain't worth much. But it's money. And since I'm using evidently a rod and real combination too big for this these fish uh, my XP I got red arrows that means if I use lighter tackle I get more XP we're not after XP right now we won't we'll, oops short cast we'll get it it just comes natural when you catch fish but we're after money and XP but if you use two lighter rig to worry about your XP break your line get hung up on a log hung up on a bottom you break your line you lose your rig bait uh, hook and that's then you gotta re-rig again and that's no fun either so I like to use a little bit bigger and get a little bit less XP and not have to worry about losing because if I get if you use a a three pound rig four pound rig and you catch a five pound fish a six pound fish you got a fight on your hands or if you get hung up on a log and you got a four pound uh, outfit four pound rig chances are you're gonna break your line trying to get it loose so that's something you don't want to do that's the good thing about bobber fishing because usually you don't get hung up you can see where you're throwing you don't want to throw it in the middle of lily pads or in the middle of brush uh, you want to help yourself but if you like what I'm showing you please subscribe I'd greatly appreciate that and click on that bell over there beside it so that you know that you you get notification each time I put up a new video. Maybe it's something you're interested in, maybe not. But if you don't know that I put it up, you won't know unless you check my channel regularly. What do we got here? This is kind of going back and forth like another bass. what we got here a bowfin okay see that pays 20 bucks per pound but it's money and XP okay 553 let's catch see if we can catch one more fish in the next seven minutes see I'm hung up don't know what I'm hung up on, but it gave it back to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. There again, you can use, use that blue circle to stay out of trouble. I cast all the way across the river and put it in the bank on the other side. That was my fault. But you can use right click on your mouse, use that blue circle to aim. Stay out of trouble. In a minute, where we're going to fish for the uh, pickerel, uh, that's something that's kind of important because we're going to fish right up next to reeds. And if you throw into them, there's a chance you're going to get hung up. Now, there's a good side and a bad side to that. The bad side is you're hung up. The good side is that if you bring in three pieces of garbage, I don't know if you did it in Texas or not, but in all the lakes, if you bring in three pieces of garbage, you're going to wind up getting be known as a cleaner, a lake cleaner, river cleaner, and you'll get three gold coins. Then if you bring in ten pieces of garbage, you get five gold coins. But don't use light rigs and try to get hung up on purpose to get gold coins, bait coins. And save those bait coins. Don't use them for lures. Don't use them for rods and reels. Try to work on building cash. Uh, the coins are hard to come by. Mainly what I use the coins for is extending. If I'm fishing, let's say, Florida at night, I want to go from night to night to night. 
Well, when you when you go down there, you'll be coming on a day. And I like to fish at night because Florida is like the big fish come out at night. Louisiana, the big fish come out at night. Michigan, same thing. Big fish come out at night. And that's what, you, what I want to catch. So I'll warp my time from the morning to the, the night peak. And once I fish that, that first night peak, and I want to go to next night peak, it costs a coin. Or you have to wait sometimes an hour and 45 minutes for a cool down. I don't want to have to wait an hour and 45 minutes. So that's real time. That's two hour TV shows. I don't want to wait that time. So I'll use one coin to warp to the next night, the next peak. Then I can go from night to night to night as long as I want to stay there and I don't have to use another coin. You can go from night to night without using coin. You go from day to day and you have to use a cool down or use a coin. That's, that's, that's the bad thing about it. Okay. 606. We didn't catch one, so let's see what we got here. Okay. So far, we have caught four fish. We got $407. And we've got uh, 18, 42, 62, 82, 87 XP's. Now, for me, that's, that's not a lot. Let me show you why. If you want to know information about what's going on, click on your name up there, and that'll be information about you. You see what it takes? I have to get 277 million XP points to get to the next rank. 278 million. I'm sorry. 278 million. So it takes a lot. Uh, all rank is when you when you get to level 50, there's not a level 51, you start getting rank. I've seen guys on here with a rank of over 1,000. They've been fishing a long time. Um, you get $1,000 cash and a gold coin. Now over here on the right are challenges that you can try like say the cleaner so on and so forth uh, catch a hundred small fish in a day just all things like that okay so now let's go down here and let's go down the path the path of least resistance is that where I want to be That's not where I want to. Now I'll show you. On the map. Press that M key. Show you where you are. Okay. Right there is the grass prickle. That's where we was up there a while ago. Okay. So let's back around. See if we can get further down the path. I need to go a little more to the left as we're going here. Oops, not that way. <laughs> See what we got here. Okay, here's where I want to be. Check my map. Right over there. See what that is? Trophy white crappie. Okay. We're going to see if we can cast from here to over there to get it. And for that, for the crappie, we're going to use wax worms. So we need to inventory, bait, wax worms. There we go. And it's kind of shallow over there, so we're going to go down to a 30-inch. Leader. Let's see if I can get over there. 
There's a long ways over there. Nope, can't reach it. I have to go to the other side. Okay. We tried. So go here. Go fishing. Do the same thing. We want to go down the path. Okay, let's see where we are. Yeah, okay. So it's upstream. There it is. Okay. Now, did you notice something else on that map? See, when I click on this, it tells me that I use wax worms to catch it. And it was midday, so it's a sunny day. And uh, up here, what I didn't do is I didn't annotate. I learned that after I'd set this mark. I got 200 something marks. Uh, I got 134 of 158. I'm sorry. But if you click on that and then right click, you can back it up and you can write whatever you want. Okay? The weight, time, whatever. I'm going to put uh, one slash aunt hook. Sunny. Okay? Then you click on the this and it annotates that. So now every time you open that marker up, that information is up there so that you know. Now it says midday. So what I would want to know, did I catch it at 12 o'clock? Did I catch it at 2 o'clock? Well, we're going to see what goes on here in the morning. Now that was for a uni. I believe it was a uni, wasn't it? No, a trophy. Okay. So we're going to use our blue circle. We're going to back up where we can see it, I guess. Well, I thought I could see it. Can I see it or not? Yeah, it's right there. No, it's not that one. There it is. See it right through the bushes. So what let's do, let's see if we can go up one, one space. Let's see if we can get down there a little closer. This is about as close as we're going to get, I believe. Well, I don't know. Let's give it a try. Let's throw her out right here. This is one of them. There's two ways of fishing. There's wags and there's swags. Wags are wise acre guesses and swags are scientific wise acre guesses. <laughs> I think I'm above it now. How in the world I got there before? That's interesting. Yeah, see, I'm above it now. And there ain't no boat. You can't. You know what this other now? Here it is. What's this other marker right here? Come on. Got that on a spinner. <sighs> Let me try one more. Time, see if we can get out of where we can see that marker. The whole idea is to aim at something when you can see it. Go down this path. Is that where we were? I still don't see it. Yeah, there it is. I see it. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Best laid plans of mice and men. Excuse me, I'm gonna turn on my fan here. Getting warm. Got me one of 
one of those clip disc fans. You see, this is going to drift back towards us, isn't it? Yep. Well, we're not midday anyhow. But that's where they are. Okay, see, it's drifted a long ways towards us already. Let's go up above it. Let it drift down to it. Okay, there it is. Go up above it. Then we'll just try to keep track of our line. Go down here at one speed. So we get too slack. And bring it in a little bit. So when we get a hit, we won't have to reel in a lot of line. Oh, it's a swift current right there. That's how you do that. Okay. There again, that's midday. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put our shiner back on there. Now here's a way of doing that. If you press your Z key on your keyboard, your baits pop up. Okay. You use your scroll on your mouse. Scroll around to the bait you want to use. Shiner. And when you let go of it, they'll put it on your hook. Okay. So now let's go next spot down here okay and we're going to be fishing right over in here so we're going to use a blue circle so we don't get hung up Sight bobber straight up and down so we're not on the bottom. And we're still in the morning peak, 644. In this morning peak, because it started out low and then worked its way up. You could still be fishing down at the other spot, catching fish anywhere from sixty to a hundred and sixty dollars. And the XP, 18 to 64. But if you look and see how much you need to get to the next level, like I show you when you click on your name, when you go to the inventory page, then you'll see what you need to do to get there. And just keep coming back. Just coming back, coming back, coming back. And it's, in the early stages of the game, it's really kind of boring. Because they're just, everybody wants to catch big, huge fish. And unless you buy pond passes and, and spend money on big rigs, you just, you can't do it. And originally, I bought 2,300 bait coins, and I bought 365 days, 360 days of premium. Well, I wish I hadn't done that. Uh, the bait coins, I used them some, here again, early on. Uh, I wasn't the smartest that I should have been with the bait coins. I bought Michigan, so I never had to buy a license in Michigan. I bought uh, Florida, so I never had to buy a license in Florida. But if you catch fish, you're going to pay for the license easily. Uh, Michigan... On my list here, the license is, uh, I don't have it separated here yet, I think it's $600, five or 600 but you're going to catch 
five or six hundred dollars worth of fish easily if you farm catfish and if you work your way up level to get up there whether you have premium or not if you have premium don't have premium you're going to get around 22,000 per two hours of game time fishing for catfish another suggestion that I do make whenever you can whenever you get enough money buy you a boat a kayak start with a kayak you can get the lakes that you can use them on you can get to anywhere in the kayak it just takes time uh, but if you want to catch a lot of catfish you need to have a kayak we can get out there on the floating dock we're going to increase our bobber by 15 inches Let's see what we got here now the way I do in this is I'm pressing the P button on a keyboard and that increases your drag the O button decreases it I mean not drag your leader length okay still have a vertical bomber so we're still good takes time just I say it's PPP practice patience and persistence that's how you do good in this game and if you leave one of them out you're not productive and you'll get bored and you'll quit or you'll ask everybody and your brother how are you catching that how are you catching that how are you catching that where are you catching that but if you learn and take notes notes these are my notes that I when I come up start in Texas and work my way up through on each lake that I fish I take notes watch watch and listen read other people's comments on that chat box chat window uh, Hey, I caught a nice one. Well, somebody else asked, where did you catch it? Write it down. What are you using for bait? They'll ask, what's your hook? What's your bait? Where were you fishing? What's the weather? And write it down. If somebody's catching uni and trophy uh, largemouth bass, you'd like to know where it is. Or uni or trophy catfish. Or uni or trophy chain pickerel. Hey, see how small that one is? 0.8 pounds, 60 bucks, and 14 XP. That's not a lot, but it's more than we had before we cast out there. <laughs> okay, we're going to fish here a little bit more. We're going to catch one more fish, and then I'm going to go here again. You can fish here all day long. And the two peaks that I showed, showed you on the home page, the map page, inventory page, whichever you want to call it, uh, 9 to 11, then uh, 2 to 5 or 3 to 5, your choice. You'll catch fish. It just takes time. While I'm here, I'm going to show you where the bluegill are. I think that's what this guy over here is fishing for. Oh, that's a chain pickerel. Now you know where they are. Yeah, that's what that guy's fishing for. See, I go just below him. And you see these lily pads out here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put a 
a 4 aught hook on there. Oops, the hook. Hooks. 4 aught. Where are you? There you are. And we're going to put some flies on it. Let's try flies first. Flee, flow, 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 flies. Ah, crickets. Most any fish in the world likes crickets. Okay. And we're going to go to it. We're at a 45 inch leader. That's where we're going to leave it. Okay. Now, where I want to cast is see this rock? Okay. I want to cast right in here. Just on the other side of the lily pads. Okay. Let's see what happens. I know that's where the brim are, because that's where I've caught them. Crickets, flies. And you just aim towards them. You get to the left of that rock, and just let them, let it float down. And if you're crossing your fingers right, and put you, and spit the right spit on your bait, <laughs> You'll catch a uni here it's, if you're there at the right time. Oh, we got something nibbling. Got a nibble. We got us a fish. What we got? What we got? A bowfin. It's still money, it's still XP. Now, Y'all eyes are better than mine, but I have to use my magnifying glass to make sure that I don't cast it out into the middle of the lily pads and get hung up. I get hung up, oh, see, I get hung up too often anyhow. We'll catch one more something with the crickets and we'll change the flies. Those are my two favorite baits for bluegill. On this river. There we go. What we got now? Got something hitting it. Okay. There we go. What we got? Boom! Jerk it in. A young large amount. Now see, they pay more. That's $55. Roughly fifty dollars a pound. Okay, let's try one more. There again, I'm aiming just to the left of that rock, forty-five to forty-nine, roughly feet out, fifty, something like that. But just on the other side of those lily pads, or hydrilla. Whichever it is, or in the, at the, this particular t point in time, you can fish here all day long. Crickets and flies are cheap bait. They're cheaper bait than shiners. And that's that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to build XP and cash. So if you're spending. 50 bucks for bait on a shiner and catching a $85 fish, $60 fish, $16 fish, you're going in a hole. So if you can use crickets and flies and wax worms, red worms, cheap bait to catch fish, you're not going to go in, in a hole as bad. You still got to pay for your bait. That's the thing. When you get higher level, and you're there again in Michigan and fishing for catfish using uh, bait that costs you 75 bucks, or large minnows that cost you 125 dollars a piece, when you're catching 16, 1800, 2500 dollar fish, that doesn't matter. But when you're first starting out, you got to have money to fish. You gotta have money to buy equipment. You gotta have cash to buy more bait. So 
Use a cheaper base that you can. I showed you where you could use shiners. You can still use crickets, worms, uh, flies up in that area as well. I should have said that sooner too. I apologize for that. But I hope I haven't bored you so much that you quit watching before now. Like I say, when you're out real life fishing, sometimes it's boring. I mean, you're not going to catch a fish every cast. You're not going to catch a fish every two or three minutes. It's just, you know, unless you are let out a little bit here. Unless you're just super, super lucky and in one of those really hot spots, chances are it's not going to happen. But after this, this, this figure we fished here, Don ate some lunch or ate supper or whatever, or didn't have nothing going on, and all the kids were out playing, or mom was taking a nap, and you sit here for a few hours and fish and have fun. Okay. All they're going to do is play with it right there. So, let's try that number, that one odd hook again and see if we can't stir up a little action. Two odd is a different kind of hook. They call it, on this game, they call it a, uh, an octopus hook, but it's really a treble hook. That's what we call it in the United States, a treble hook. It has two hooks that go this way and one hook that goes that way. It, to them, it looks like an octopus, but it has three hooks on it at one time, and it's it's for different kind of catfish, uh, drum, fish like that. That ha y you need more of a hook to get them to take the bait. Uh, you put more bait on the hook with a treble hook or a cat octopus hook. I'm going to catch one more fish here, and then we're going to go see what it costs to extend. There again, you can fish all day long. And that's what it's going to take. It's what it took me to get to my level. And then when you get to, there was one gentleman that befriended me. He's Italian. And he asked me how I was catching catfish so I told him he stayed on that platform for two solid weeks didn't leave just extended 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 I mean go to work come home eat supper whatever and back out of and extend 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 at the end of the two weeks he was level within the first week he was level 50 he went from level 34 to level 50 and then at the end of two weeks he had 18 million dollars in cash a large mouth bass. There we go. Okay. Now, see, they're biting on crickets. So if they're biting crickets here, you can just fish here. Or you can go back up the other place and fish. Uh, casting towards the yellow canoe or yellow kayak. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to next morning. We can go from here. We can use our scroll and, and go, you know, wherever we want to go. And right now, we're not having to use any bait coins. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the next day. So that will cause us to extend. Okay, our extend here costs us $200. That means now, if we fished all day long, if we've got $2,000 worth of fish, we're t and we extend, we're $200 ahead. Now that doesn't sound like a whole lot of much, much, but now you can continue fishing every day here and it only costs you $200 a day. You've already paid for your travel and your license for a, a 24 hour period, real life period, real time period, however you want to say it. And all it costs you now is, see we had $751 worth of fish 
in an hour and a half, really, two hours of fishing. Did a lot of talking. <laughs> so at three hours, you should have enough, let's say five hours even, of game time. You should have enough to pay for your uh, both, all three, the travel time, the travel cost, the license cost, and the extend. So if you fish all day long, go and come back, go and come back, you're going to, you'll make money. You'll gain your XP, you'll get your level, and you'll build cash. Now, if you have premium, if you want to buy it, you see you get 50% more. You get 50% more XP, you get 50% more cash. But if, as a lower level fisherman, it might behoove, behoove you to do that. But when you get up in higher levels where you're going to catch $32,000, $35,000 worth of fish in a peak, it does, it's $35,47. See what I mean? It's not a lot of difference in the money. Not for the cost of the premium. Okay. Well, that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching. And this is Mud River. Fish and fish and fish and catch, fish and catch, fish and catch. And uh, I hope I helped. That's my whole intention. That's why there's no ads on my my uh, channel. I just I want to teach. I want to help. So thank you for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. And I'd appreciate that. And uh, tight line, good luck. God bless you and your family. And uh, I'll catch you out here later. And y'all come back now, you hear?